Okay folks, another little video for you. Um, this thing's on a little piece of equipment that was uh, donated to me a, I don't know, a few months back. And uh, I figured I'd do a little uh, review slash demonstration of such of this unit. And it would be the MFJ801 field strength meter by MFJ Enterprises Incorporated, Starkville. Um, Basically, from what I've been reading online, it's usable from 100 kilohertz to 500 megahertz, which makes it good for uh, 2 meters and 440. Um, according to MFJ's own uh, little read up on it, this is uh, this easy to use MFJ antenna meters show the strength of the actual field being radiated from your antenna. You can use it to determine the basic radiation pattern of your antenna and see which direction your antenna is the strongest. You can make changes to your antenna and instantly know if it radiates better or worse. You can compare one antenna to another, find out which HT antenna radiates the strongest signal. Measure your HF antenna now and compare it later to make sure its performance is still up to par. Adjust the ground lead. Artificial ground, counterpoise, or tune your transmitter or antenna tuner for maximum field strength. You can check for RF floating around a shack that may be caused by faulty antennas or poorly shielded equipment. Demonstrate the, comp uh, the concept of gain or antenna polarization. Find hidden transmitter bugs at the office or house. Usable from 100 kilohertz to 500 megahertz. And, uh, from uh, MFJ, he sell for like twenty nine ninety five each, and I'm pretty sure it's U.S. dollars. So I'm gonna take a little. We're gonna take a little wee peek at this uh, MFJ eight hundred one. Uh, we're gonna see basically how it's built, um, see how rugged the thing actually is, and for sake of thirty dollars, is it worth the thirty bucks? So. Let's uh, let's have a wee peek, shall we? All right. So basically, if we're looking at the uh, the meter itself right here. We got telescopic antenna that uh, telescopes straight out, as you can see. Duh. <laughs> uh, we have the little ground screw here. Do you put your finger on when you're when you're uh, adjusting the knob, looking for rate of sensitivity? Sensitivity knob right there. Again, this your ground. Not much to look at on the back. Just open. Just plastic, and you get your cover open there, and then you can see the guts of the um, of the meter. And there's not much to it. You got a variable resistor right here. You got a ceramic cap there. You have a, a diode hiding right there, blue diode, an inductor, and of course your ground. And wires goes up to your meter. It's uh, fairly simple. Not much to it. It's a little plastic case. And it slides on just like a 9 volt battery type of door would slide on. So, um, let's just see how well this thing works with, uh, we'll just put her here, put the antenna up, put her there. We're going to use the Yezu FT270 or 46500. And we're going to see if this needle moves first. We're not going to touch the screw, ground screw. Test. V01MDS testing on 146520. So that's without touching the screw. We're going to touch the screw, keep the antenna in the same orientation. Test 12 V01MDS testing. Alright. Test 12 V01MDS testing. We're going to touch the screw. Test 1212 V01MDS test. So the ground screw on the side makes this thing very sensitive to say the least. And we're going to do it again, get it closer so you actually see that meter a little better. This is without me touching the side screw. Test V01 MDS testing. One, two, three, three, two, one. Alright, now we're going to touch the side screw on the side. Test one, two, three, three, two, one. V01 MDS test. So there you go. So it does make a big difference using the, uh, the ground screw there now. I'm going to just walk around the house. I'm going to walk out to my shack, which is roughly about 10 feet away from where this antenna is to. Then I'm going to move out to the living room, which is about 20 feet away. Then I'm going to move out to the kitchen, which is 20, about 
10, 15 feet away from through the wall behind here, behind the meters of wall. And then I'm going to go out to the porch. And the porch is a good, uh, a good 30, 35, 40 feet for sure away from this meter. So we try those couple of tests. from my check. Now I'm doing this one. And then we're going to test uh, about four feet from the meter. One, two, three, be one MGS testing. And there we have it. Okay, so we just performed those tests uh, without a ground attached to this screw. So what we're going to do now, we're going to temporarily put a ground wire onto this screw here. And then we're going to see if we can make the meter more sensitive do the same uh, test positions here in the, in the house and see if we make it more uh, sensitive. Tell you with the ground, you should, but uh, let's we're try the same again. test from the same areas. Right now we're going to go out into the radio shack and we're going to transmit then out toward the living room, uh, then the kitchen, and then the porch, which is the furthest away from this antenna. And then within four feet. Be one MGS testing. So there you have it. That's with the ground wires attached. So how useful is the MFG 801? Well, I guess for sensitivity, uh, I guess feel strength of your uh, antenna. I guess it works pretty good. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, construction is fairly, fairly simple. Um, I wouldn't want to drop it off a bridge or anything. It would probably smash to 100 million pieces. It is a plastic case. Um, I would think it'd probably be pretty easy to break in the cold. Um, the top of the cover is kind of, or the very top is kind of loose, sort of. But uh, construction is, you know, it is what it is. It's made of plastic. Not the strongest, but hey, it does the job, and I guess that's all that matters. And for the price of uh, 30 bucks US, well, it's a field strength meter. And if you need one, I'd say go get one. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is, and that's what it is. Anyway, guys, all the best. Hope you enjoyed the video on the MFJ 801 um, field strength meter. This little uh, gadget.